Welcome to Mariposa Woolen Mill Needle Felting Kit Instruction. Felting is causing the fibers to intermingle and mat together, and there's a couple ways that you can do that. Wet felting is one way, which is hot water, a bit of soap, and a lot of friction. And the other way is needle felting, which I'm going to demonstrate to you shortly. The needles that you use for felting have ridges that encourage the fibers to grab onto the other fibers and the more that you poke it the more that it felts. It's always best to use a surface like a foam or a rice pad to protect the needle because it's fragile and it's also very sharp. Everything you need is included in the kit so let's get started. Monarch and Lavender kit starts like this. So let's just build up the background. We'll, ro we'll work from the background to the foreground. So we'll use the olive green and just add a bit of green to the bottom of your mat. Just blocking in that color. Let's just add a little bit of blue to give a little depth of color back there. And we'll add the white on top just to soften it. So at this point, we'll just, just start anchoring that down. It doesn't have to be perfectly felted. Just want everything to be, uh, in some fashion, adhere to the mat. So you just go over that with your needle and then we'll work on the details after. just add the flowers. We'll start with the dark green, I'm building our stems and then we'll add the lighter, the brighter green. So just divide the roving that you have. You'll be able to take it right down the middle and just split it. So that makes it a bit more manageable we have to do it again so you can have thin strips and if you can't divide it then take a small piece and we'll just roll it
Okay, so get those for that. To apply these, either start at the top or the bottom, whichever is fine, and just anchor it down and give just a small tug so you can stretch the fibers. I'm going to just give you a, a more refined line. And if you end up with some down here, just pinch it off and you can add it as a, a leaf or another place to put uh, the balloons on. So just use the rest of the, the ones that you've divided and create some stems.
right, so now let's add our butterfly. Using the orange, the black, and the white. First way, well, just give a shape of what you want your butterfly to appear as. It's going to use smaller strips because I'm basically going to do an outline first and then fill it in. I will extend my plant here so that I'll have more of a place for the butterfly to set on. But right now we're just build the butterfly and then add the other. So just anchoring it down, making, making that larger wing on the outside there. shape like a, a teardrop and if you have any extra wool you're going to be building the body so if you want to create a a solid piece right there you build your body on that okay just gonna map out that other wing and you're just seeing partial of that wing so starting back at the top Just make sure you hold down your fibers before you pull. Otherwise, you will pull everything out that you were just working on. Okay, so we have an outline. And I'm going to fill in just because a lot of the space will be uh, orange, but... It will be easier to tell the shapes of things if we have the black there. And you will probably be adding the orange and then adding the black on top just as detail, but uh, just to kind of give you a solid place to work, a solid canvas to add your other shape. And you don't have to add it very thick, it just kind of gives you a, a base to work on. And I would work, I'm going to work on one at a time, one wing at a time, so that I can keep track of my shape of that first wing. So if you want to use a, a real photo to reference uh, the monarch, that might be a good, I mean, it's always a good reference to have a, a real life picture. I did initially when I created this one.
So just start adding in the different shapes that you see. So just continue to plot in those different shapes of the orange and I'll come back when we finish this wing and we'll work on the other one together.
So this is our completed project. If you want to have a cleaner look, you can give just a little bit of a trim. There's still some fuzzy edges. And if you want the mat to be completely felted, then you just need to poke some more and that will have it nice and firm. Thanks for joining me today. Hope this video was helpful. So to replenish your felting supplies, just visit us at the farm market or on our website.